What's up fam? It's your girl Ike here. Alright, I just wanted to talk to y'all about a couple things because y'all keep failing to manage your expectations. Okay, so the Freddie Gray case, keep in mind that there are, I believe, six defendants in this case. One went uh, jury and it was hung. And then one went bench and he was acquitted. And there's four left that haven't been tried. And then the retrial of the one um, whose case was hung. Now, some people seem to be under the misconception that is some sort of finagling or something untoward is happening because he had a bench trial. Understand that every defendant has the right to decide whether they want to be judged by 12, a jury, or whether they want to be judged by one, just a judge. There are a lot of factors that come into consideration when you make that determination. As a defendant, you are looking for jurors of your peers right you got to consider the venue consider the venue so this is baltimore you got to consider the atmosphere so as a cop it only made perfect sense that he would go bench right because is he going to get a jury of his peers is he going to get 12 other cops to sit in judgment of him no and is he going to the likelihood that he could get a fair trial in baltimore with the sentiment that was in that community at the time um probably not and so he went bench. Aside from uh, all of that, judges tend to be a lot more partial and you know give a little bit more deference to police officers. So it was a strategic decision and it paid off. Cha-ching, he got acquitted of everything. And so the other cop who <laughs> he went jury last time, I bet my house he's gonna go bench next time, as will the other four police officers, cause that's smart. Peter Lang in Brooklyn? You went jury? No comment, right? And you saw that even the judge saved him after the jury convict him. convicted him, the judge saved him. All right, so it, uh, any cop that's going to trial, you go jury, I'm like, I'm, I got the side eye. Like, I'm not so sure why you think that that's gonna work. Some people, you know, the argument in this is, if it's 12 people, then you really only need one of those people. You only gotta convince one person. And the odds of that is a lot greater, a lot better. You have a better shot at convincing one out of 12 than convincing one out of one, right? Okay, so that's the other side of the argument. Um, but for police officers, bench trials tend to be um, the way to go. We saw that in, um, uh, Sean Bell's case, those police officers, they went bench, all acquitted. Uh, a lot of, if you, you, you look them up, okay? <laughs> and tell me, you tell me the difference between those who have gone jury and have, have gone bench. Um, and remember, it's their choice. It's not the prosecutor's choice. It's the defendant's choice whether to go bench or to go um, jury. And just very quickly, um, uh, just keep in mind that these other cops are going to be tried too. So, I, you know, don't be disappointed. Don't be outraged. Um, manage your expectations because again the higher and the greater the expectation you have for what you think is justice um, when that does not happen you then are going to be disappointed and outraged and you know it's, it's gonna it's, nothing's gonna change in that regard all right so there's more of that to come and I, you know I hate to see you know people um, you know feeling this sense of outrage when this should have been expected not not just because I told you, but because we've seen it. You know, it's a pattern of, of, of um, outcomes. We've seen that. We've seen it over and over again. And I know you're tired. I'm tired too. But, uh, m you know, my weariness is going to cause me to manage my expectations. And, I, and I, I, I urge you to do the same. All right? Okay, so I hope that that um, clarifies some things on, you know, bench trials and jury trials and how those work how you know how they get decided and things of that nature so you will understand that there is no nobody in the background you know uh, trying to uh, you know I don't know I don't know it ain't happening okay it's the defendant's choice all right um okay it's hot I'm in the backyard and uh, ready to get the weekend popping everybody have a safe memorial holiday um, don't drink and drive uh, Remember the five R's, don't run, don't reach, don't react, remain silent, request a lawyer. All right? Have a great weekend. Ike Speaks. I love you. I really do.